Well, the Affordable Care Act is sparking scams. Call for Action's Keith King was here with a look at how to avoid the big ones. Keith? Yeah, Mark, good afternoon. The Affordable Care Act is creating a lot of confusion for consumers and opportunity for scam artists, but we do have some ways for you to cut through all of that. Today at the Kansas City Health Department, a staff member with the Samuel U. Rogers Health Center helped out people applying for health care coverage. A lot of agencies are setting up these sessions across the metro to answer your questions and help you through the application process. We've heard reports about people having trouble navigating the website. Now I'm told that's improving. We have been able to send applications out finally. That's how far we have gone. We haven't seen any insurance coverage yet, but I think the system is working faster every day. Now, those navigators offer legitimate information to you, the consumer. Forbes magazine recently listed the top scams to avoid with the Affordable Care Act, and that includes the bogus Obamacare navigators. They call and email you trying to steal your identity and sell you bogus coverage. Remember, government employees do not call. Beware of the phony Obamacare card. The Better Business Bureau warns that scam artists will call and try to get your Social Security and credit card numbers in order to send you that card, which again is not real. And finally, the fake government employee phone call. If someone calls claiming to be with the federal government, do not fall for it and tell your parents, don't fall for this either. Once again, federal government does not call you. Now to meet face to face with real legitimate navigators, I posted a list. Just go to our website, KSHB.com, click money and call for action. For Call for Action, I'm Keith King.